Minnesota will start Lucy Morgan for the second straight day and Suzette Fauché for the Mavericks. Right off the bat, here comes Minnesota off the end wall. Murphy sends it all the way across. Pinned to the wall. And I say it was a tough decision because, you know, for as far as Mankato goes, Haley Hansen has been the goaltender they've been going to for most of the last month and a half, but she gives up five in the first period, so maybe coaching staff feels her confidence waning a little bit, and uh, they're going to go with uh, the more experienced Fauché. And of course, Fauché, when she came in yesterday, just two goals on 24 shots. Certainly some progress after a rough couple of last outings against Minnesota and Ohio State, giving 10 total goals over that span. Here's Kaiser on the wall, spins, plays it into the corner. Nelson for the Mavs, plays it behind, but it's picked off by Minnesota. Now Hemp centers for Kaiser, knocked around. Lightning, top of the circle, goes back door for Hemp. Vanessa Gazdick, though, got a stick on it to break up the play, but Minnesota possesses. Here's now Lindsay, a shot off the tip of the glove of Fauché. And the Gophers here, like yesterday, getting to rebounds and loose pucks, but now quick outlet, Madison Mashuga down the far wing, cutting hard to the net, lightning there to cut her off and uh, prevents a similar play Mashuga scored on on Friday night. In goal, pretty similar lineup otherwise to the rest of the series. Top lines for both teams on the ice first. Both teams now have changed here. Minute and a half into the first period. Each team with a shot on goal. Emily Zumwinkle out of her own end. Feeds it up Lauren O'Hara. Nice thread ahead for Audrey Wethington. Didn't get much on the shot. As getting back there was Keanu Roski to break that up. Now the Mavericks moving right to left. They got the purple on today. Alexis Paddington from the wall. Sends it off the uh, inboards. And then reversed here by Claire Vekic. Held in by Bobic In the corner, Kreiss, who took a pretty good shot to the uh, neck head area that resulted in a five-minute major to the Mavericks uh, last night in the third period. But uh, she's on the ice, none the worse for wear. Puck on the far wall, it's pinned there. And dug out by Ramirez. Flings it back, Charlotte Akervik. Nice lead in the corner. Ramirez with some room, skates behind Fauché in the net. Gets it up to the line, but knocked again to the end wall here by Murphy. Moving first to it, here's Huber up front. She scores! Turnover by the Mavericks. They're very slow to transition back. And Ella Huber there, her fifth goal of the weekend, Sam. Well, what a weekend for Ella Huber. Her fifth goal, seven points on the weekend entering today, of course. He says, we've just got to stay with them. And he said, that game was over by the end of the first period. We didn't stay with them. And already Minnesota off and running here early in the, this one here as uh, the goal comes at the 2.33 mark of the first period. And of course, that first line for the Gophers scored eight goals on the weekend. So that Ella Huber, her first career hat trick on Friday. Then Murphy and Boving both had two in addition to Huber's one yesterday. Career day, too, for Yosef and Boving. Five points, that is a career high. Two goals, three assists. Now the Mavericks here trying to answer the call. Cameron Van Batavia will get the puck in the Minnesota zone. She scored the game winner on Friday night in a 5-4 win. Murphy through center ice here all the way. Gets to the net, fires in a left, great pad save, rather by Fauché. Well, Murphy almost took that end to end and put it away for Minnesota. Now here comes Nelson in though, off for Van Batavia, trying to feed it back in front. It hits a skate, now ends up behind the gopher net. Maggie Nicholson there to take it away from Jamie Nelson. Flings it to the far corner boards. Taylor Stewart there, off for Bouvain. Outlet forward here to Murphy at the end of her shift, so Murphy will just Flip this one in the air, dump the puck, and head to the bench. Mavericks almost turn it over at their own blue line. Nicholson tried to fling it back in. I think it hit the linesman right there. Now Eva Lindsay for Hemp. Center's looking for Kaiser. Knocked around. Kaiser high slot trying to settle the puck down. It's chipped off to Lindsay. Eva Lindsay spins away from Beckett, trying to cut to the middle, loses it. And uh, Vekic, the former Bemidji State Beaver here, flings it all the way down. And uh, this will be an icing 
on the Mavericks here just past the four minute mark already Minnesota on top one to nothing. And we were talking before the game and agreed that both teams are pretty heavily going to rely on these sort of messy goals. That's what both goaltenders had a lot of trouble with both throughout the series or all three who have played throughout the series four excuse me have done a pretty stellar job on the sort of straightaway shots but lots of tricky bounces rebounds that have resulted in most of the goals this weekend. Saw the numbers for Suzette Fauché and hadn't played a lot for the Mavericks over the last month and a half and prior to last night as a matter of fact Haley Hansen started 10 out of the uh, last 11 games for the Mavericks but today Fauché will get the start but Minnesota gets to her early as Neunzer will send this one in corner Lauren O'Hara there couldn't keep it on her stick though played ahead by Otremba out to center ice Whitney Tuttle will uh, backhand this in behind Morgan in the Minnesota zone and now the Mavericks go to work Tuttle with Otremba Buck trickles over into the uh, far corner boards Christ is over there a couple of Maverick players also trying to dig the puck free and it just seemed yesterday too, Sam that almost every loose puck almost every wall battle Minnesota won and that I think was a big part of the game yesterday kind of goes unrated there when you're winning those wall battles and getting to those loose pucks first now puck coming out front here off the end walls going to be covered up by Morgan just outside the gold crease. 14:34 on the clock left here in period one. And Minnesota already on top, one to nothing. Well, like you said yesterday, everything seemed to be falling into place for the Gophers between those sorts of wall bounces, sort of fights against the boards. Everything just going exactly their way after after a rough outing on Friday. And so we'll see how they're able to keep up with that luck and keep the pedal on the gas. That's been the big thing for this team throughout these big series this year. Jamie Nelson and Abby Murphy on the draw. Minnesota wins that one. Last night, the faceoffs heavily dominated by Minnesota, 42 to 17. Huber gets dumped out at center ice as the crowd looking for a raised arm. None coming up here. Now Abby Murphy gets to a loose puck, brings it in. Angling to the far wall, sends it back across for Huber. And it was Nelson just getting a stick on to break up the play. Nelson will send it out. Janissa Gadsdick to the red line. Fires it in as Lucy Morgan comes out behind the net. We'll leave it for Nellie Lighton. <laughs> Nellie Lightman, second team all WCHA. She and Abby Murphy were both second teamers this year. And uh, Madeline Weathington earned a third team spot. All WCHA for Minnesota. And of course, one thing to keep our eyes on tonight, Madeline Wethington, 98 career points entering the, entering the day. And so we'll see if she's able to break that 100 mark. She had three points last night, including a goal and two assists for Minnesota. One of those goals was a big goal after the uh, Mavericks down three to nothing, scored a power play goal in Wethington. Came right back there moments later and uh, would pick up the pick up a goal in front of the uh, Maverick net. That was, uh, by the way, a good feed from Ella Huber there. She not only can score, she can also assist. Taking a look at Lucy Morgan's numbers. Fifth year senior. Started her career at St. Lawrence. Pretty, pretty decent digits there, Sam. Well, and sort of recapping her season, she started out absolutely impeccable through the first six games only in one of her she didn't allow more than one goal through the first six had a little bit of a rough stretch in the middle 1.44 goals against average since then Yeah, she has been uh, pretty good here for Minnesota again allowing only that power play goal last night Mavericks this time win a battle and they get the puck up at Paddington can't keep it on her stick Minnesota plays it in but it's chipped right back out by the Mavericks and then Christ sends it back the other way as well. So both teams changing here. Twelve and a half to go. Here comes Sydney Lane. Seth scored a goal Saturday trying to center Emma Christ is there to pick it off at the uh, top of the blue paint for the Gophers. Around near turnover here. 
Minnesota, though, dodges that as Solveig Neunzer will carry out down the left wing wall. Diagonal entry off the uh, corner boards. Comes out to center ice. Emily Zumwinkle with Neunzer ahead. Murphy reaches out, gets a piece of it to prevent the icing here. And Ramirez will go to work in the corner. She's met there by Ella Huber, though. On the hash mark, we're at the eight-minute mark. One-nothing Minnesota. Again, big thing here for John Harrington, as uh, he pointed out. That is to stay close. Now Murphy gets hit down by Ramirez. We saw some physical play last night, resulting in some major penalties. Here's Murphy feeding it up to the line. Maggie Nicholson, hounded by Tuttle, able to play it off for Boobing. Boobing now with some room. Slides, fires low, pad save. Fauche, the rebound cleared by the Mavericks. Well, some extended zone time there for the Gophers. Kind of a hand pass here, I think, on MSU Mankato. That's the whistle. But you were saying, Sam. Some extended time for the Gophers. And for Mankato today, the key is going to be getting that second line going. During the Friday game, that second line had four of their goals. One of them was mid-change, as you take a look at John Harrington in his ninth season. Of course, you know, this weekend, we've talked a lot about his success with USA Hockey. Also, a pretty diverse coaching resume. Here's a chance, though, for Nelson. And a blocker save by Morgan. The Mavericks almost with an odd skater rush, but uh, Minnesota able to prevent a, a great scoring chance. Lashuga at center ice trying to flip it in. Weathington got tripped up as now it's helped along by Ava Lindsay past the nine-minute mark. Minnesota leading one to nothing. On the goal by Ella Huber. Who else? is going to get the, on the board here for Minnesota. Huber from Bouvang and Murphy at 233 has been the lone tally so far. Kind of been the uh, playbook here. It's Sam, Minnesota scoring early. We have a little lull. And then uh, at least last night, Minnesota kind of opened up the floodgates here after the 10 minute mark. Well, in that regard, it's certainly been a pretty consistent series. And so the question has been, who's been able to stay on top of it and which team has sort of fallen off a little bit as the game went on? Seifert rings his puck around. On the hash mark, comes free. Audrey Weathington now leading the charge up for Minnesota. Her teammates, though, peel off here on a change. And Audrey gets a shot off the blocker of Fauche. Change is completed. Nicholson knocks it back behind the net. Here's Audrey again. Tied up by Gatormson, got all down. Referees let things go today here, Sam. Now Murphy for Huber in a high cycle. Huber sends it to the net. It's off a stick and out of play with 9.41 left. Timeout on the ice here. Minnesota with the early goal, though, and they lead the Mavericks here in game three. It's one but her fifth of the weekend, including a uh, hat trick on Friday night. And again, almost willed Minnesota to the win on Friday, but unfortunately the Mavericks with that uh, late goal by Cameron Van Batavia. And uh, the Mavericks took game one, five to four, as the Gophers ice this one here, nine and a half to play in the first. Well, what impressed me most about that Maverick win on Friday is that the Gophers did get a lot going. Of course, Ella Huber making some big time goals when the Gophers needed momentum, but each time the Mavericks struck back pretty quick. And so it's hard for the Gophers to get any momentum going forward. Flip behind the net, picked up by Tuttle. She sends it out front looking for Lang Seth. It was off a Gopher stick. Now Minnesota transitioning left to right. Here comes Murphy. Murphy centers. Here's Lightning jumping up and gets a good shot away, but Fauche with the save. And then the Mavericks ice the puck here to relieve the pressure. There's a, a good example, though, Brad Frost. I talked to him about when would you want to have players be aggressive because it was the aggressiveness on the penalty kill, actually, that led to them giving up the power play goal. And he he just said, you know, just certain players have a knack for it. You just can't get caught deep if you're going to do it. And that's what happened, unfortunately, on that uh, power play goal by Mankato. Had a good rush, but then players got caught deep, and the Mavericks are off the other way, five on two. 
Shots are five free Minnesota Mavericks at center ice dump the puck in under nine minutes to play here in the first Murphy taps it to herself through the legs of Madison Meshuga. Now here's Murphy firing just misses the post rebound off the wall moving from a bad angle but still I think cut the uh, the goaltender Fauché up high. Well, that was a sneaky shot there by heavy Murphy as Fauché was not ready for that and then that just not did not miss the post by very far. Well, we were talking before the game today about when Abby Murphy decides to just go in and take it herself as opposed to slowing things down. We've seen two times now already today where she's decided to just go ahead and get her own shot off. And both were pretty decent shots that seemed to catch Fauché a bit off guard, even though she was able to block both of them away. Weathington patient here, setting up the breakout. Now weaving through neutral ice, has some room, and then had it poked away by Nelson. Kaiser trying to bang it in. It pops into the air. Knocked down by Hemp to her blade. Center for Lindsay. A little bit too deep, though. Ava carries behind the net. Now trying to get away from Juliana Gazdick. Off her Hemp from a bad angle. Right on the goal line. Hit the outside of the net. Three gophers behind the cage, but it's Gazdick that gets to the puck first. Able to work it forward up the half wall and then played out by Van Batavia. Well, that was just barely onside. Here's Ava Lindsay trying to make a move with uh, Gazdick in the way. And Gazdick able to knock it off her stick. Now Bobic trying to work end to end. Got to the blue line, poked away by the Gophers, but now the Mavericks work it in down the right side. Bobic in the corner, tied up by Zumwinkle. Vekic plays it up. Roski now flips it behind the uh, cage now out front again Paddington uh, using her body well to shield the puck but then the puck comes out back to Roski at the line was off the mark and comes all the way back in the Maverick zone so play settled down here again another fast start for Minnesota can MSU Mankato survive and and stay with Minnesota that's John Harrington's uh, main concern here because uh, like I said the uh, Minnesota got uh, up three to nothing early in that game uh, yesterday and that was pretty much all she wrote now Murphy nice behind the back pass but uh, is intercepted by Vekic held in for a moment by the Gophers and then it's uh, deflected into the Maverick bench 617 to play in the first a Hubert goal has given Minnesota the one nothing lead here it is again. Josephin Bouvain gets to the loose puck. And Huber just uh, beating the Mavericks to the front of the net. And the feed right to Huber's stick. There you see her weekend so far, Sam. Those are some uh, pretty good numbers. Well, she's been incredible, and definitely the kickstart this team has needed. Oh, Murphy off the faceoff with a good slap shot. That one ricocheted off of Fauché. And the Mavericks able to clear now on the attack here in the Minnesota zone. Puck fed back to the line, but Ramirez was in retreat mode, so now the Mavericks have to touch it back up. Shot in by Langseth. Minnesota bangs it right out. Ramirez with Van Batavia. Now the puck here misplayed. Picked up by Murphy. Murphy to the net here, trying to toe drag and lost it at the last moment and did not get the shot away. And now the Mavericks ice the puck. 5.35 left to play. What a nice move by Murphy. Just uh, couldn't get the shot away. She lost the puck on the move. Well, the Gophers have looked strong offensively. A couple of opportunities broken up by some good sticks from Mankato and other times just not quite able to hang on to the puck. On the other side, Mankato still able to hang with the Gophers like you were talking about, Dan put themselves in a position to still be in the game after the end of the first period. Just hang with them at, at, in the first period. It's all Harrington, John Harrington talked about when I spoke with him before the game today. Peyton Hemp out of the corner, denied by Langseth, but Hemp gets the puck back up to Zumwinkle, right point. Zumwinkle sends it around at the corner boards. Ava Lindsay, the uh, fine freshman from Minnetonka there. Now it comes out of the zone, though. Minnesota forced to regroup. Here's Neunzer. Ava Lindsay at the line. Boy, just on side. Kaiser had to struggle to keep that left skate on the blue paint. Far half wall. 
Vanessa Gads dick tied up by Abel Lindsay. Sidney Langseth will retreat behind Fauche. She'll ring the puck around. Van Batavia with a quick outlet here. This is Janessa Gadstick at the line, but Madison Mashuga on the opposite side of the rink was being ahead of the puck here just offside. We've played uh, more than 15 minutes here. 447 left to play. Well, certainly a bit of a slower start after yesterday. I mean, so much scoring there in the first period. Gophers 5-1 to one after the end of the first. And so trying to keep that momentum going, like we talked about, that trade-off between keeping up the aggressiveness and on the other side, not being too careless with the puck. Now Minnesota enters, but uh, it's turned back the other way by the Mavericks. Nelson carries in, but Lightning steps in to win it away in the near wall. Lightning ahead, Audrey Wethington through center ice. Her pass for Christ broken up. Juliana Gazdick sends it back ahead. Now Stewart throws it to the uh, Maverick end, where it'll be chased down by Jaden Seifert. Juliana Gazdick now near side, up ahead. Bobbick tips it for Paddington. Paddington will get into the Minnesota zone here. Taylor Stewart there first. Madeline Wethington sweeps it up, but the Mavericks pounce on it, get the turnover. Kennedy Bobbick, a low shot here. I think Taylor Stewart came back in front to deflect that one away and into the netting here with 3.54 remaining in the first period. I think uh, Lucy Morgan would be uh, more content to just let that puck come on cold and let uh, Stewart uh, deflect that one away. We've seen more than our fair share of Lucy Morgan getting burned because uh, the Gophers actually have sticks in good positions. Well, there's certainly been a lot of that lately. Of course, yesterday, the lone goal he gave up was just a tough pass that didn't give her much of a chance at all to, to go after that one. And so that first line defense so key on giving her a chance to make that play. Huber from her own end ices the puck. 3.33 left on the clock. A few more icings here in the first period. So I would say Mankato has so far, quote, hung with Minnesota here in the first period, just like John Harrington wants. Yeah. Because if you hang with Minnesota, you, the longer you stick around, the better your chances are later in the game, obviously. But you don't want to get behind by two or three. Oh, here's a puck trickling towards the net. Lucy Morgan able to get there before Vekic and Paddington. Paddington getting knocked down to the ice by Gopher Taylor Stewart. The Mavericks might have wanted a call, and there you saw Robert Ludwig shaking his head. He's, there's already about two or three calls maybe we could have had here, Sam, that they let go. It's game three. They're going to let the teams play as much as they can. Well, of course, don't want to let it get too out of control after those three five-minute majors yeah. yesterday, <laughs> but definitely letting them play a little bit here early on. We'll see how that, that, how that fire plays out for both teams. Huber in, sends it over the net off the glass. Abby Murphy trying to feed it to the point. Now Boovang with a turnover. Boovang down low. Murphy out front here for Zumwinkle at the right point. Over for Neunzer. Back for Murphy on the near side. Into the middle. Boovang quickly tied up by Otremba. Puck to the line, held in by Neunzer. Ends up below the goal line. Jaden Seifert leaves it for Ramirez. Now finds Sydney Langseth in the circle. Outlet for Tuttle off her skates. Zumwinkle controls, sends it across. Bouvang tips it in. And the Gophers making a change here. Two and a half minutes to play. As uh, Kaiser almost came up with the uh, puck battle there behind the net and almost caught Mankato in a change. Now uh, again, Kaiser trying to feed it low, looking for Ava Lindsay. It's knocked around. And finally, out of the zone, Otremba for Tuttle. Tuttle in, but uh, two Gophers there. Mavericks were changing. Now Minnesota almost turned it over, but Peyton Hemp now chasing down a puck in the Maverick end to the net here. Low shot, Fauché the save, but gave up a juicy rebound. And once again, here's Nellie Lightning crashing the net, gets uh, knocked into the net, and uh, stoppage of play here. Well, you saw there, Peyton Hemp was 
pretty tied up. Not a whole lot of room to work. Got the shot off anyway, just hoping for a rebound like we've talked about. That's been a lot of these goals this weekend and, and for this Minnesota team in general. But, you know, we'll see how much they decide to just stick with that. Uh, take it in yourself, just get the shot off and give the chance for good things to happen on the rebound. Jamie Nelson on this faceoff, Emma Kreis for Minnesota to the wall, and it's Madison Meshuggah that'll come out with it for Mankato. Crosses the red line, dumps it in, 1.45 to play here in the first period. Madeline Wethington steers it to the near corner, but O'Hara is tied up there by Juliana Gazdick. She comes away with the puck now behind the net, off for Nelson. Look out for Nelson. She's got to two goals in this series, both of them on Friday. But she was tied up nicely by Stewart, and then Audrey Wethington sends it out of the zone. But right back here come the Mavericks. Juliana Gazdick tied up by Wethington. They both go down hard, no call. Puck comes out front for Vekic, and then back to the blue line, out of the reach of Janessa Gazdick, back to the Mankato zone. Now off the wall. Mavericks turn it over at center ice. Here's Huber playing it in. Gadsdick across for Gadsdick. Juliana for Janessa, under a minute to play here in the first period. 1 0 Gophers. Ella Huber the goal. Now Murphy gets a puck here, sends it out front for Boovang. And good job by Bobic to slide across and make the block there on the good attempt by Boovang. Nilsefin again had it for a moment. Lost it, gives it up for Maggie Nicholson. Now the Gophers here with 35 seconds to go. Here's Nellie Lightman, finds Murphy right side in front, looking for Huber, broken up by Janessa Gadstick as the puck ends up behind the net. Paddington plays it near side. Murphy the only player there, 20 seconds to go in the period. Now here's Boovang for Murphy, one-time blast. That came from long range here, and the glove save is made by Suzette Fauché with 15.2 seconds left. Well, taking a step back for a minute, how about that block from Bobic earlier on that play? Stops another one of these gopher chances where just a stick in the right spot, a body in the right spot, has prevented a serious scoring opportunity for the Gophers. I think that's the fourth or fifth time early on the Gophers had what would have been an almost certain goal. Face-off win, Gophers. Trying to get something here late in the period. Peyton Hemp behind. Out front, Kaiser banging at it. Off the pads of Fauché behind the cage now. Langseth will just pin the puck to the wall here. Right out the uh, remaining seconds here in the first period. And Minnesota got the uh, early goal for Ella Huber, but the Mavericks here. Everybody else potentially could be back. So back underway here with period number two as the Mavericks on the attack. They get the puck to the bottom of the circle. It's a steered away by Minnesota. Stewart off for Wethington. Now in front of her own net, Bouvang. Tried to thread one ahead for Huber. Broken up by Langset. Back in Tuttle. Tuttle on her forehand. Feeds it down low. Just a little too far for Otremba. As the puck ends up right corner. Minnesota State with it here. Winning that battle. However, Minnesota forces it behind the cage. Joseph and Boovang there. Sends it cross ice left to right for Abby Murphy. Murphy waiting for the, uh, their teammates to catch up. Now Wethington gets a loose puck. Centered looking for Boovang. Deflects up to Kaiser. Kaiser fires. High left corner. Blocker saved by Fauché. And then the rebound cleared here by the Mavericks. This should be an icing on MSU Mankato. We play 59 seconds here in the period. Well, you can already see the temper starting to flare a little bit. Abby Murphy, of course, getting a little bit physical earlier on that play. Here you see that attempt where just gets tied up. Kaiser still able to get the shot off. But not as great of a scoring opportunity as the Gophers were able to generate through much of that first period. Mavericks win the draw this time. But good job forechecking by Minnesota here. Forces them back behind the net. Now Tuttle, outlet for Nelson. It's knocked around at center ice. And then Nelson will ring it around left to right. Nicholson chips it out. Van Batavia for the Mavericks for Juliana Gazdick. And she'll send it back in. Stopped by Morgan behind the gopher net. 
90 seconds into the period. Here's Maggie Nicholson. Her pass deflected. Boy, three purple jerseys all around, but Minnesota fortunate to get that out of the zone. Now Shelby Gatormson sweeps it in. Right to the stick of Maggie Nicholson. She'll retreat behind the net. Finds Lightning, but uh, mishandled the pass slightly. Now gets it back up ahead. Ava Lindsay got a piece of it, so no icing on Minnesota. The Thompson behind the Maverick cage now. Puck comes to the far side wall. Up to the blue line. It trickles out here, Minnesota. You can tell they're not as aggressive here. You can see both Ds were kind of backing out of the zone that time, not wanting to give up an on skater rush the other way rather than attack that puck where really Zumwinkle could have, but again, a more, more of a defensive posture here by Minnesota. Paddington for the Mavericks in. Loses it, but Roski had it on her tape for a moment. Lauren O'Hara able to chip it forward. Audrey Weathington now on the right wing. Comes in, drops it off. Lauren O'Hara just had to tap it into the corner. Weathington reverses the puck now to the near wing wall. Knocked around near the blue line. Weathington sweeps it into the circle, but Roski there to clear, and Bobic will get it out of the zone, but Murphy for the Gophers picks it up. Abby Murphy leading the charge, got around Roski and then wanted to send it in front, but it's denied by the Mavericks. Stewart at the point, cross for Weathington, waited a bit too long, or shot off the skates of Kennedy Bobbick. Minnesota, though, with the possession here, plays it in behind. Here's Bouvang trying to thread one across, looking for Ella Huber on the weak side, off of a Maverick stick. Back comes Bobbick now, winning it from Weathington. Low shot from the far dot. Saved by Morgan for Minnesota. And now scrum in the right corner. We got 16 and a half minutes to play here in the second. Still 1 0 Minnesota. Playing Seth. Pushes it behind the cage again. Weathington trying to come out front and waited again a bit too long. Turnover. Otremba, though, couldn't keep it on her stick. Otremba, though, working high slot. Nice job by Stewart muscling the puck away. Now Murphy. Right side, holds, trying to find Bouvang low. Akervik there to steal. Now it's Langseth across the blue line. At the half wall, Maggie Nicholson meets her right at the uh, end of the bench on the Mavericks side. And it comes loose behind the Minnesota cage again. It's Kaiser there. Starts out, but Nelson forces her back behind. Maggie Nicholson. Now trying to send it across and turn it over right in front again. Boy, Minnesota getting a little sloppy here. And turn it over a third time. Nelson, the shot, but it didn't have much on it. Morgan the save, but man, Minnesota sloppy in their zone here in the second period to start. Well, yesterday, a good forecheck for the Gophers. Mankato really being a bit more aggressive, especially than just that last period. They're on in the offensive zone for them. Murphy trying to go end to end here. Loses it as she tried to make a move down the slot. And back come the Mavericks. Nelson, pass off a skate. Ricochets to Ava Lindsay. Quick outlet here for Lightning. She and him two on two. They crisscross. Lightning on the forehand, pulls up. Her shot is deflected by Juliana Gazdick out of play. And we've crossed the five minute mark here with Minnesota still leading by one. Well, this period already has a completely different tone than the first. A lot of sloppy plays by the Gophers, also just a lot of risky plays. Jamie Nelson, you saw this weekend, two goals, one assist, four shots. She is, of course, the goal leader, second in points on this Maverick team. And she's certainly one of the players that Harrington is trying to get going or relying on to get going early this, this series, or early this game. Quick shot by Peyton Hemp off the draw. Jamie Nelson, we talked about for a year, 20 goals. That is second all time in a single season in Mankato program history. Tied with Britton Fleming, who's a current PWHL player for Minnesota. Lauren Smith owns the record with 24. Here comes Paddington leading the rush for the Mavericks. Down the right wing, forced to the wall by Solvay Neunzer. Now the puck knocked near side by Ali Franco. Across the Thompson shoots, that's blocked, and here's Ava Lindsay off to the races one on one. Back checkers though for Mavericks catch up. Franco gets to the pass and almost knocked it in. What an effort by Ali Franco for Minnesota. Well, it looked like Fauche was a little bit slow to, 
to get a read on that one and got a little bit lucky that it went just wide. Good hustle though by Ali Franco. Didn't look like that pass had a prayer of getting all the way through, let alone Franco putting it on goal and nearly snuck it in at the far post. Now the Mavericks bring it up here, chipped in by Akervik, picked up Stewart. And the Mavericks here much more aggressive on the forecheck, in my opinion, here in game three than they were in game two. Minnesota kind of had their way in game two against the Mavericks. Now Monsieur Mankato wins this one. Akervik a shot, hits traffic, laying Seth with it, has a player in front. Tuttle is there from behind, throws it out front. Akervik into the corner. Tremba centers it all the way across. Now O'Hara tried to chip it out. It's held in by Ramirez. Tuttle got her skates taken out here. No calls. We said the referees letting them play here this afternoon. Here comes the Gophers now three on three. Price off for O'Hara centering for Wethington off her stick and back comes Otremba now for the Mavericks. Minnesota zone knocked away. Nelson though picks up long shot blocker save Morgan. Now the Gophers will clear back to the Maverick blue line. Past the seven minute mark of the period. Boy Mankato starting to get their stride here now. As Van Batavia tries to center. Broken up. She got it back. Morgan was out of position for a moment. Now the puck is loose at the top of the circle. Cleared by Lightning. Murphy just on side. Gastic back. Murphy shot low. Kicked out by the right pad of Fauché. Boy, end-to-end -end action here, Sam. This is fun to watch right now. Absolutely. Like you said, Lucy Morgan got a little bit out of position. It seems like she just couldn't quite get a clean push off of that left leg. And it nearly cost the Gophers, but able to get out of that one and right away get a good opportunity in transition from Abby Murphy. Scrum in front of the bench area. Claire Vekic for the Mavericks sends it in. Oregon behind. Leaves it for Zumwinkle. Her pass almost picked off by Paddington, but it's going to go for an icing. And with 11.53 to go, we'll come back to the Minnesota zone. As the Mavericks here start to tick the play up just to air. Here is the uh, chance by Ali Frank to watch the effort there by Ali. Just a couple of inches off the mark. And just barely even able to get that shot off. Tight defense on her. Like you said, that pass was a bit of a prayer, but could have ended very badly for the Mavericks. Walk behind the goal for Cage, Solvay Neunzert. Off the stick of Kaiser, Murphy picks up with speed, one-on-one, -on -one. get Tormson back, shot save, rebound, there's Kaiser, and I think uh, getting a piece of it was Fauché, and now Murphy is injured for Minnesota. Slow to get up, I think the puck went out of play anyway, but now this could be a very costly injury here if Murphy is unable to go for Minnesota, but Murphy trying to skate it off for the Gophers at the moment. Here we take a look here. Good shot by Abby Murphy. And then kind of goes in with that uh, skate first after taking the little check after the fact by Gatormson. Hopefully, Abby can shake it off for Minnesota. Right now, the Gopher lineup is a little bit depleted. Injuries all year long have cost uh, Minnesota some players there right now. Five players that have lost uh, the season due to injuries. Stewart centers through the legs of Lindsay. Madeline Wethington back out to the line. Ricochets off a couple of players down near wall. Lindsay chips it back up. Stewart keeping it alive. Kaiser spins away from the wall with the puck on her forehand. Shooting blocked by Paddington. Paddington might have gotten a hook. Now Wethington picks up, fires through traffic, that one on goal, and then it was Kaiser banging at the rebound, and she pushed it to the far wall. Now Lindsay back out top for Lightning. Ellie Lightning for Stewart. Hemp across Lightning one-timer, knocked down by the glove of Fauché. And then uh, Bobic taken into the end wall by Kreiss. Ten and a half minutes to play here. Minnesota again coming up with some 
good opportunities in the offensive zone. And now Maverick player falling on the puck. I think we're going to have a face off in the MSU Mankato zone with 10 23 to play. Here in the second period, the Gophers still leading this one one to nothing. Well, I think the Gophers heard you earlier this period when you were talking about the defense falling back a little and playing slightly more conservative. Since then, we've seen a couple of plays, especially from that top line of Stewart and Wethington, where you could see the moment they decided to pursue the puck and keep it in the zone. And it certainly led to a couple more scoring chances. Whether it, whether that risk comes to bite them, we'll see. Mavericks break out. Here's Akervic from center ice throwing it on goal, and it's sticked into the netting by Morgan to stop play again. I guess that'll count as a shot on goal, but Minnesota has had a sizable advantage here thus far. 17-7 for the game, and an 8-3 advantage here in the second period thus far. And Abby Murphy is back on the ice. I mean, the number of times this season we've seen what looked like such a damaging hit and then two minutes later she's back on the ice like you said she's as tough as they come she is one tough cookie about as tough a competitor as i've ever seen mavericks though with it trying to center off of a skate and then far wall scooped up here by huber now huber gains the line throws it into the netting and uh, where's the face off going to be i think it was off a of maverick stick and out of play, but Minnesota trying to advance here to the final faceoff. They've never lost the quarterfinal series. Mankato trying to do something that they've only done once before in program history. Ella Huber battling with Bouvain in the corner. Now Murphy digs it out to the point. Nicholson across to the right. Nelly Lighten and now throws it on goal. No traffic in front. Easy save by Fauché. One thing I have noticed also here too, Sam, is Minnesota unable to get a lot of bodies to the net here so far in this game. Now Boobank comes up with the uh, puck here near circle, and then the rebound. Murphy got hit from behind, and the referees again let this one go. Now Mashuga for the Mankato, cutting across the slot, lost it momentarily. Now taps it behind the goal for goal. Now off the glass here. Juliana Gadsdick could not come up with this one. No icing. Murphy will get to it here for Minnesota. Now skates out. Plays it out to neutral, so a couple of Gophers have to touch up. Jamie Nelson throws this diagonally out of the corner. Otremba goes chasing. Tied up Stewart. Bevington wins the puck away for Peyton Hemp. Hemp comes up, though, rubbing to the boards. Otremba, Weathington digs it out. Now finds Ava Lindsay in the middle. Able to find Kaiser at the blue line. Just on side here. Looked like Hemp might have come in just a split second too soon. And the Mavericks, though, will transition this puck out as they send it back into the gopher zone with 8.20 to play in the period. Well, the key, like we said, this whole game, the key is if Mankato can stick with the Gophers, and so far they have. This period has certainly looked like one of their strongest so far this weekend. Well, they definitely have kept the Gophers at bay. Just uh, Minnesota not looking quite as sharp as they did yesterday, and that's got to be somewhat attributed to the way that Mankato has played today. There's Yosef and Bouvain's day yesterday, Sam. What a career day she had with a, a high five points. Got two goals in the first period, and uh, that put Minnesota up and pretty much out of reach. Here's up the slot. Here's Zumwinkle. Couldn't get to it. Bobic knocks it away. Now a two on one the other way. Bobic with Vekic. Vekic couldn't catch the saucer pass, though, clean. And that uh, averts the tragedy. But back out front. Good center for Bobic trying to find Paddington. Paddington got a stick on it. And Minnesota forced to ice. Here was 735 left. Boy, Mankato coming close there uh, against Minnesota. Well, a very lucky break for the Gophers. Neunzer wasn't quite able to block off that passing lane. And see the replay here, just a bit too much air on that one. Not able to handle that one clearly was Vekic. And so it's just an offensive zone faceoff for Mankato. 
NSU wins the draw. Good Tormson shot from the blue line. Well wide near side. Out the hash mark. It comes out towards the line. Nobody there for the Mavericks, so they'll have to touch up. Good Tormson all the way across for Bobbitt. She'll send it in. Vekic will race this one down first. Now she's tied up, and the Mavericks try to change, so Audrey Wethington chips it off the glass and out of the zone. Gets the puck back at center ice now. Gains the zone, coming in, backhand flip. That one didn't get through. I think that was blocked by Ramirez. Mavericks clear, right to Nicholson, though. Minnesota right back in. Murphy throws it into the middle. Oh, here's a chance for Huber. Couldn't find it, though, on her blade. And uh, now Van Batavia comes out here. Off for Vekic. Here's off for Nelson. Back across. What a save by Vetter on Vekic. Nelson nearly uh, hit Vekic perfectly. And that, uh, boy, that's a big save there by Lucy Morgan. Now a turnover by the Mavericks at center ice, and this one's punched back in by Huber. There's some contact, though, that uh, created that uh, odd, odd skater rush there on the far side. Now Minnesota comes up with a turnover at center ice. Kaiser leading the charge. Kaiser fires low stick side, missing the cage. Stewart finds Wethington. Wethington in the middle. Now Wethington will shoot. This one's ramped up by Jamie Nelson out of the play with 6.06. Man, Mavericks coming close there to tie this hockey game up 1-1. Well, coming back to that scoring opportunity, it looked like Vekic just couldn't quite get a clean shot off. He was able to get some contact on it, but definitely slowed down a little bit for Lucy Morgan to make that save. There you see the shot differential. Minnesota 2-1 to one margin here, but in the second period, Mankato starting to get some good looks. This one ends up in the uh, seats. We've hit the 14-minute mark of the second period. Still 1-0 Minnesota. Ella Huber's goal early in this one. So far the only different, or the main difference in this uh, game between the two teams. Kaiser, another shot here, deflected wide. Picked up by Ava Lindsay, trying to cut to the net. Got a shot away, too. Fauché there with the pad save. Boy, good sneaky move, though, by Ava Lindsay. Creates a good chance for the Gophers. Now Mavericks dump the puck in. Playing Seth with Weathington behind the Gopher net. Gopher fifth year senior here. Plays it off for Hent. Couldn't get it out of the zone. Mavericks hold it in. Now knocked around. Hemp kicks it forward out of the zone. Adds Dick Twins play catch and then Janessa will fire it in. Five skater change here for the Mavs. Peyton Hemp deflects one here for Audrey Wethington. Right circle. Blocked by Roski with the initial shot. And then it's knocked away by Bobbick. Paddington will pull this one in. Sweep it out. Minnesota. He whistled, I believe, offsides. It looked like they got back, but not quite, apparently. Well, it looks like a little bit of a late whistle. It seemed there like Emma Kreis actually knew she was offside and stopped playing for a minute because she just assumed it would be called, but eventually resulting in that face-off. Kreis using her body, keeping that puck on the wall, but Bobic ties her up, and now Shelby Gutormson with some room here through the center ice area. Tried to enter here with a Shot, but it uh, was knocked down, and now it's touched off sides by Vekic here with 4.37 left. Well, let's take a brief look back at this weekend. Friday, Gophers struck first. That was uh, in that first period pretty early on. Nothing in the rest of the first period. It was Huber's goal in the second that seemed to kickstart Mankato. And so we'll see what it takes for them to ignite the spark, because it was that response that you know got them two in a row, and then every time the Gophers tried to come up with a response, Ella Huber, of course, having that hat trick, the Mavericks answered right back. Now, now the Mavericks, though, putting the pressure on here in the Gophers' zone. Nelly Lightning, loose puck here, couldn't clear it out. Knocked right, a left, right corner, rather. Now at the half wall, Ava Lindsay able to work it past Hackervik. Audrey Wethington now in. Nice play by Nelson to knock it away. Puck ends up left corner. Ramirez up for Akervik. 
near half wall. She sends it all the way across. Van Batavia to the blue line. Shoots it in. Murphy will get there first for Minnesota. Another change here for the Mavs. Under four minutes to go here in the period. Still 1-0 Minnesota. Murphy trying to go end to end. Sanders for Boobing. Big save. And then the scramble. The puck goes behind. Now Murphy a slap shot. Foshe the save. Golden opportunity for Minnesota to open up a two-goal lead. Joseph and Boobing denied by Suzanne Foshe. Brilliant feed, though, here by Abby Murphy. Oh, what a glove save. And that other chance from Murphy, which was pretty much the only place that Foshe could have caught that one. Super out of position, but still blocking up a good enough chunk of the net. Off the faceoff, Boobang spins, fires, right pad, save again, Foshe. Also, Foshe has been very confident here in this uh, hockey game. Mavericks turn it over. Murphy Loafer Huber just uh, bounced over her stick. Mavs get it out of the zone, but then Otremba rubbed into the wall by Murphy right in front of the gopher bench. And now we got players on the ice. Are they covering up the puck? Well, referee saved. Got to move it. Got to move it. Finally comes out. Mavericks control. Tuttle to the Minnesota line. Wethington able to knock it away. Below the goal line, Wethington will get to this puck. Long outlet looking for Hemp. And stepping in was Gatormson to intercept. Paddington. Beaten 2-1 here by Wethington. Well, the Mavericks trying to transition as Bobbitt knocks it forward. Right now we're playing uh, pinball here with the puck. Back and forth between the center ice line and the Minnesota blue line. Beckett's trying to work it off the wall. Ava Lindsay for Minnesota controls. Enters the zone down the left wing. Spins trying to center. Kaiser was out front. Pass didn't get through. Lindsay gets it back. Now centered. Here's him. And Gatormson, I think, got a piece of it. Bouncing puck at the far side. And the Mavericks able to scamper and clear. Nobody knew where that puck was for a moment, including Fauché. And uh, Minnesota with another chance. Here's Kaiser down the slot. Two minutes to play. Kaiser's long shot. Easy uh, pad save by Fauché. Gatormson will retreat. Behind the net, Audrey Weathington. Had a good game, by the way, in the forecheck for Minnesota here. Just creating havoc, and now almost got a turnover. And the loose puck finally gathered in by Van Batavia. She'll gain the offensive zone here before being tied up on the end wall by Lightman. 124 to play. In the second period, there have been no scoring here in the second period, although both teams have had opportunities. Now Price digs the puck out. For Lauren O'Hara, Madison Meshuga trying to cut her off. Puck at the blue line. It's an offside here, so Minnesota forced to touch up. Good call by the linesman, by the way. Almost got run over, still made a good call there. One minute to go here in the second period. one nothing Gophers. Here is Wethington. Left wing pass, Huber. Knocked off by Akervik, but the Gophers get it back. Here's Murphy, threads it ahead. Ella Huber in the slot, but good back check by Tuttle breaks up the threat. Tuttle regains it, and then trying to get it off for Ramirez. Murphy got a piece of it there. And now here come the Mavericks back. Meshuga rings it around, right to left side wall. Stewart trying to push it ahead. Bounces to Huber. Off for Murphy. 20 seconds to go. Here comes Boobing. Boobing pulls up, shoots, knocked down. Loose puck, bottom of the circle. Murphy there, trying to center. Kaiser coming off the bench, calling for the puck. Never got through, though. Now Murphy plays that one back. That was played with a high stick by a Maverick player. I could have been wrong. But Not the other side, on Mankato, also the graduate student, Bobic. She on Friday became the all-time games played leader for Mankato. And in the two to one overtime victory for Minnesota back on January 27th, uh, Kennedy Bobic was the one to get that uh, game tying goal in the third. So we'll see if she is able to 
get that spark going for Mankato today. So, again, bringing out a cliche here, Sam, the uh, next goal is a, a big one here for either team. Murphy driving to the net, and no penalty there. We haven't had one called so far. And the referees, again, just letting them play like they should, Sam. Here's Huber digging it out, and will fire. And then the office gate, Taylor Stewart had a chance and whiffed on it. Now well, Ackervik to the Minnesota line. Like you were saying, with the penalties, this would be just the fourth game with the Gophers committing under uh, under two penalties. And a bad pass here by Weathington, way off the mark here, and icing on Minnesota right when the Mavericks here were changing, too. So 59 seconds in. We'll come back, we'll face off. Uh, they're gonna, which one are they, circle the Mavericks gonna choose? They're gonna choose the far circle. It's the left side of Lucy Morgan. There's the opportunity Minnesota had just moments ago. Well, most of the scoring chances for the Mavericks have come from sort of sloppy plays like that from the Gophers. And so taking care of the puck, especially if they're not being quite as aggressive in the offensive zone has got to be the priority right now. Gophers clear, no icing, so they will get their change on here. As Juliana Gadstick passes it out of the reach of Hemp to the center ice line. Knocked down, and then Kaiser there to sweep it back into the Maverick zone. Janessa Gadstick this time to the point. Ellie Lightning feeds it into the corner. Hemp trying to work it out front. Denied. And now Ava Lindsay had it for a moment. Hemp had it for a moment. Jamie Nelson knocked it away. Still loose near wall. And it comes off into the faceoff circle. The Mavericks finally settle the puck down. Madison Meshuggah leading the charge here the other way. Again, the Mavericks are changing. But getting to it first, Bobic trying to deflect it in front of the net. Knocked down by Kaiser. Minnesota gets it out to center. Gatormson now back. Misfires with Bobic, and it'll be an icing here on MSU. Mankato's hustling back was... Solvay Neunser, she beat Kennedy Bobbitt there to the dot and gets the whistle. Just past the two minute mark. Here in period three, Gophers this season. But leading after two periods, 17 and 0. And the Mavericks trailing going into the second period are oh, a night, or trailing going into the third rather are 0 and 19. Mavericks will have to come up with a, a big win here, something they haven't, able, haven't been able to do this season, but still a lot of time left here. Fired in wide by Lauren O'Hare. The puck came right back out front, and Christ took a whack at it and it fluttered high off the glass behind the Maverick cage. This one will be swept forward by Kiana Roski, Painesville, Minnesota native. Now Huber too far for Audrey Weathington. Roski. Skates behind the net. Lee has a sister that's a goaltender there, a high school goaltender. Highly sought after recruit. Now Gophers play it in here. Huber gets to it for Boovink. Slap shot. Oh, big rebound right past the ear of Abby Murphy. That comes MSU. Akervik fires wide. Now far half wall, Tuttle falling down as this puck slides across to center ice. Huber digs it off here now. Huber down the left wing to the dot, fires, big save, rebound there, and it sits at the rim of the circle and finally cleared out here by the Mavericks, Janessa Gadsdick. Well, that's now two golden rebound opportunities that Abby Murphy couldn't quite handle. Well, that one losing by your ear, that one. Oh, we're going to have a penalty here on Otremba. Wow. Kaiser draws the penalty on Otremba. And a hooking minor. That gives Minnesota a huge advantage early in the third. And take Otremba, comes in. Well, they let him play. But you got to call the obvious ones. That might have been a little obvious. Gophers definitely had an advantage there. You gotta call them when they take an advantage away. Like that, in my opinion. 
Well, we'll see what the Gophers, how the Gophers decide to play this one. Like we were talking about yesterday, they got a little bit more protective of the puck. On that five minute major, they were more content to just kill off some of that time. I mean, they did have that six goal lead. Only one now though, so we'll see if they try to amp up the aggressiveness on this power play. Of course, one of the best in the nation. Here's a shot in front, Weathington pushes it over the crossbar. Audrey, as we mentioned her before, just been snake bit here. The Mavericks clear, has not scored a goal since the first series of the 2024 calendar year. That was back in Yukon on January 5th. And uh, nearly broke that uh, streak. Now Bouvang carries in deep here for Minnesota. First unit out here, Murphy fires. Blocked by Juliana Gazdick. Bouvang trying to play it back to the point. Minnesota swapping the defenders right now, or swapping the skaters at the blue line. Huber and Lightning on here on the change. Lightning at the right point as the Gophers have 65 seconds to work with. Murphy, Bouvang, one-time slap shot again. Juliana Gazdick with the block and the clear this time. And Gazdick has been really remarkable on defense today. So many plays that she's broken up. Most of them pretty good passing opportunities, but that one safety. Pretty good opportunity. Murphy carrying in, shot from the high slot is wide. Gophers trying to work it back to the point. It's Huber controlling. All the way across, Lightning now skates into the middle for Murphy, top of the far circle, 29 to go here in the power play. Gophers work it low, here's Huber, trying to get away from Gatormson. Hands off Hemp and then Hemp Trips over her skates and it's cleared by the Mavericks with just 17 to go. Gophers are one for three this weekend with the extra skater. Now fired in here by Minnesota off the wall. Murphy trying to chop at it, but the Mavericks are there. Cleared by Janessa Gadsdick all the way back. That'll do it. Well, Tremba back on here for the Mavs, and the uh, penalty time has expired. Now Lightman with Langseth all over her. Those two take a tumble, and as Emma Christ comes back here, now cuts in front of her own net, feeds it right wing for Lauren O'Hara, and the freshman from Blaine will dump it in. O'Hara after it, but Tuttle working it uh, free for the Mavs. Offer Akrovic, quick pass here for Gadsdick, Juliana Gadsdick has been on the ice for a long time here for the Mavs. Now Ramirez in the corner, take it away. Christ, though, couldn't keep it on her stick as she tried to make a move to the net. Hemp had it poked away. Stewart sweeps it back near side. Hemp having a hard time keeping that puck on her stick as she loses it. The Mavericks with it. Ramirez working it up the near side. Kaiser. Held it in for a moment, but the Mavericks do get it out of the zone here. 13-15 to play in the third. Minnesota clinging to this 1-0 lead. Well, neither team looking nearly as crisp as earlier in the game and even earlier in the series. Both lines, especially through that power play, looks pretty exhausted out there. Well, third game in three days. They're not exactly used to three games in three days. Now Minnesota comes in, here's Hemp. Long shot, easy save, Fauché. No rebound here, 12.46 left on the clock. Well, at this point, the question is who can you count on? Who are you giving the puck to to try and just give the best opportunity? There's the only goal of the hockey game. Came early at the 2.33, Mark Ella Huber. There's her ungodly numbers here for the weekend. Quick shot, face off Murphy, kicked out Fauché though. Another win for a face off win for Minnesota. And then we see Murphy a couple of times there with a shot right off the draw. Fauché had to make a quick pad save. Now Mashuga at the other end, trying to center it in front, bouncing around, and Huber recovers here, plays it forward for Murphy. Murphy down the right, cutting to the middle here, shoots Fauché there, no rebound given up. By the Mankato netminder. As uh, she and Murphy said hello. I don't know if Madison Bashuga cared for that, but at least Murphy didn't give her the old 
ice shaving shower that uh, so many players probably would have. Well, considering that if Murphy has four penalty minutes today, that will put her at double the next penalty minutes in the WCHA. It's certainly been a bit less of a fiery game from that perspective. Well, you don't want to take any bad penalties at this stage of the game, that's for sure. Give your opponent an opportunity because the Mavericks have had a power play goal this weekend too. Ramirez here loses the puck. Price finds Bouvang. Bouvang had it poked away just before she pulled the trigger. Good play by Sidney Langseth again. Now Mavericks win the wall battle. We've seen Mavericks do much better winning those 50-50 pucks on the wall as Otremba carries in deep behind the gopher net. No opportunity, though, to send it in front, but Otremba gets it back. Bouncing pass across Juliana Gazdick. Trying to center Murphy with the block there. She'll flip it to the far wall. Audrey Wethington banks one ahead for Madeline at the blue line. Madeline moving in, and her long shot was a block. And it ends up behind the Maverick net. This is Vekic. Trying to skate it out, loses it. Sent back in here by Wethington. That's the Madeline Wethington. Andre trying to chase it down. Now Lauren O'Hara will poke it below the goal line. Juliana, uh, Janessa Gadstick rather, around for Vekic. Outlet here for Kennedy Bobbick at center ice. Vekic had to wait, pull it in, lost it. Now Paddington, an opportunity for the Mavericks with speed. Fires blocked by Lightning as Ava Lindsay recovers and retreats with the puck behind Lucy Morgan. O'Hara out at center ice. Dodges Mashuga. Feeds it off for uh, Kaiser. Now Sadie, Li or Ava Lindsay rather, shot to the net here. The puck popped up momentarily on Fauché. She got the glove on it before Kaiser could get there, but a little bit of a pushing match here ensues. Nothing coming. And we got uh, 42 seconds shy of that midway point of the third. Well, lots of opportunities just like that for the Gophers, really just trying to put something out there like that pass back in the first, just sending up a prayer, hoping for a good rebound, something to come their way, because really just not the same opportunities they've been able to create the rest of the series. So we're nine minutes, over nine minutes into the third period here, Sam, and uh, MSU Mankato yet to get a shot on goal at the other end. Gophers have done a good job limiting the chances for the Mavericks in the third period. They only allowed four shots on Friday. Unfortunately, three of them found the back of the net. And last night, only five shots in the third. Now Nelson, though, here for the Mavs with speed. Off for Meshuggah on the left. Meshuggah shoots, and that one hits the pads of Neunzer. Bouncing puck in the middle. Kaiser flips it right side. Peyton Hemp had to play the carom at the blue line. Puck knocked down, but picked up now by Lindsay. Through the right circle, shoots wide off the glove of Fauché. Picked up here by Nelson as uh, the clock ticking down to the halfway point. Now Nelson's pass almost batted out of midair by Murphy. Mavericks will send it in, though, to the Gophers zone here. Under 10 minutes to play. 1-0 Minnesota. Huber chips it in. Now gets to the puck first. Centers. Nobody home. Poked away by Fauché. Akervic started up, then slowed down. Finds Tuttle. Tuttle got behind Stewart. Now centered here. Nice recovery, though, by Murphy to knock it away from Akervic. That's why you play 200 feet hockey there, Sam, as that would have been uh, a pretty good uh, chance there for the uh, Mavericks. But Abby Murphy coming back to break up the, the pass because uh, that was a setup perfectly. And there were a couple of times they're on that last possession where the uh, the Mavericks tried to thread the needle and just couldn't quite get that pass through the defense. Well, we got a break in the action. Minnesota hanging on. It's 1-0 here in game three at Ritter Arena. The Mavericks, their goal through that beginning chunk at least was just hang with the Gophers. And they've done that so far. We'll see what they have to do to get that spark going because at some point it's got to go from hanging with them to figuring out something to push them over the edge. Paddle in the corner and uh, dug out by Mankato's Alexis Paddington. There's some room near wall to the blue line. 
Puck comes in, but it's offside here at 8.50 to play. I talked about, though, Minnesota, the third period. So far, just nine shots on goal here through two games, and plus 11 minutes and 10 seconds. Defensively, the Gophers have been very sound in their own zone. They have gotten opportunities on the offensive end, too, but uh, a good game by Sozette Fauché. After the Gophers kind of had their way with uh, Haley Hansen yesterday, actually, it wasn't really Haley Hansen's fault at all. It was just the way the Gophers played and the way the Mankato Mavericks did not come out and responded to the bell. Paddington. Trying to spring Bobbick with a long stretch pass. Bobbick gets to it, but then nice stick there by Madeline Wethington. Pokes it away. I think Bobbick just wanted to tee that one up, but uh, Wethington there with the long reach, able to get it away. And now Stewart behind her net starts out. Her pass knocked down. Van Batavia a chance. Nelson couldn't catch clean. Spins, fires it to the net here. Sticked away by Morgan. First shot on net of the period for the Mavs. And it comes here near the 12 minute mark of the period. But now Nelson again trying to center. Ava Lindsay picks it off. Mashuga wins it. Van Batavia on her backhand falling down. Blocked by Kaiser, but the Gophers again couldn't get the puck out of the zone. Now Mashuga. Gatormson's shot. Blocked by Pimp. Here comes Minnesota. Mavericks off skaters back, but now Ava Lindsay fires. Great save by Fauche. Didn't handle it cleanly, but uh, fortunately, nobody there for the rebound either for Minnesota. Well, all of those chances for the Mavericks came off of, you know, just too much of a bouncy puck or something like that. Just couldn't quite handle them cleanly the other time that they were just a little bit too tied up. But Fauche is really what's been keeping them in this one. A great save there off of that breakaway, or not breakaway, but transition opportunity for the Gophers. Lightning. Blast blocked by Langseth. Another blocked shot by the Mavs, but Minnesota keeping it alive. Another long shot blockered out. Mavericks with 19 blocks to this point of the hockey game. Minnesota with nine. Now Huber in her own zone. Nicholson threw it behind Bouvang. Uh, it will be icing, but it doesn't make the end line, so it's waved off. Minnesota gets a line change, but now here's Akervik with some room. Plays it up, knocked down a Tremba. She'll uh, shoot it in. Out of the corner boards, all the way across. Tuttle tied up by Zumwinkle. Huber for Minnesota picks up the loose puck. Ahead Murphy. Murphy pops this one high into the air to the left corner. Janessa Gazdick gets there first, plays it up to the line. Neunzert is there, plays it in front. O'Hara coming back on the weak side, though. Juliana Gazdick stepped in the way of that pass. Now Bobic back the other way. Chance for Vekic on the backhand. It rolls away before she can shoot. Bobic again, across Paddington. Oh, what a save by Morgan. That's the best opportunity for the Mavericks all game long, and Morgan comes up big. But now Bobic fires looking for a stick. Vekic couldn't connect. The rebound out of the corner boards all the way back to the Mavericks zone. Well, it took Paddington just an extra second to settle that puck, and that's the difference between this being a 1-1 game right now. Fekic back again here, a shot blocked by Stewart. Jamie Nelson had it, loses it. Stewart now to the line, held in by Nelson. But the Mavericks couldn't keep control of it, and Madeline Wethington will get it out to center ice as Ava Lindsay now tips it into the offensive zone. The Thompson back, plays it up ahead. This is Meshuggah with some room. Madison Meshuggah had a goal on Friday night that gave the Mavericks a 3-2 lead early in the third period. Minnesota deep in their zone, D to D. Taylor Stewart plays it up. Peyton Hemp gets it out of the zone, but the Mavericks here right back in. Weathington trying to clear, knocked down by Nelson. Now Ava Lindsay just will flip it ahead. It goes through a couple of Maverick players. 
And now Kaiser trying to catch up. Wins the puck for Makovic. Has Murphy out in front. Murphy waits. Shoots. Oh, what a save by Fauche. The puck comes free. Go for the score. Oh, Fauche, what an incredible save initially. But she couldn't find it. And finally, Minnesota puts it home. I think Akrovic got away with one there. Taken down Huber, but again, late in the game. And the referees are going to put the whistles away here. Now the Mavericks have to come back too, but we've seen them do it here, Sam. So this is not at all unusual if they if they did come from behind and tie this or even take a lead. Still, but the, not a lot of time left. So time winding down. They got to get something going here. Here's Tuttle waiting. Otremba nifty pass behind the back, but nobody home on the uh, far wing wall. Now this one comes out the center ice. Picked up by Stewart. And Stewart will dump it in. Minnesota now, I'm sure, content to just dump the puck in. Make sure they get the puck in deep and make the Mavericks go 200 feet with it. Well, they were trying to start something. Ella Huber was stuck between the blue line. She just couldn't quite pick up her stick. And that's, I think, part of why they decided to just dump that one in. They couldn't really get their full line out there. And Audrey Weatherington here ices it. I think that was a pretty ill-advised play there, but we'll see uh, how the Mavericks can respond here. Down two, under four to play. Certainly a team that this series already very used to playing from behind. Here goes and the goaltender. Empty net for the Mavericks. So it's six on five here. There's the empty net. A lot of time left. Mavericks need two, though. Behind the Minnesota net, Stewart, Audrey Weathington sweeping off the glass. Nice job by Janessa Gadstick to knock that down, keeping the puck in the offensive zone. Got to lay out the body now here. Stewart, Weathington off the glass, out to neutral. Bobic will get back for this one here for the Mavericks. Now Juliana Gazdick ahead, Nelson. Now Murphy loses a stick as Nelson comes in the zone. Nelson centers. Oh, look out, Meshuga here. Just couldn't reach out, pull it in enough there to get the shot away. Akervik fires, moving the block. Akervik knocks it to the end wall. Nice job by Lightning to get it away. Here comes Minnesota. Chance here to ice it. Bouvet scores from center ice into the empty net. Minnesota now up by three. Still three minutes to play, but a huge empty net goal for Yosef Bouvet. Well, those top two lines offensively for Minnesota State, they have been making some incredible individual plays, but not quite working together as a unit. And that's led to some sloppy turnovers. It's holds that ended up on one-on-three situations that turned into some pretty tough transition opportunities for the Gophers, and that's what happened right there. Still three minutes to play, though. Can't let your laurels down here. Mavericks will see if they maybe try to pull the goaltender again. Minnesota, though, controls the puck. And Peyton Hemp will bring it in the offensive zone. Loses an edge. Shelby Gatormson will start out here. Watching Suzette Fauche in net. Staying there put for now for Minnesota State. Minnesota, though, with the puck. Stewart clears it out. Knocked down by Langseth on the far wall. But here's Kaiser now controlling, skating across. Knocked away by Van Batavia. Now comes to Ava Lindsay. She'll wind up. First shot blocked by Juliana Gazdick, and now the puck out to neutral ice. Kaiser there. We'll just dump it in. He said, I, I don't get the sense that uh, Suzette Fauche is uh, anxious to come off here, so I don't know if Minnesota State has conceded, but uh, they still have an opportunity here. Two minutes left. We have seen some weird things happen. Oh, Van Batavia with a pick here. Well, Minnesota clear. And a nice job, Lightning, getting back to block the shot. Audrey Weathington on the charge. Backhand flip high. Save. Fauche. Ashuga. Van Batavia plays it in past Stewart with 140 to go. Again, Fauche staying put. So it looks like the Mavs 
I've conceded the game here, at least that's what it appears. Down three. Oh, but Madeline Weathington gets hit behind by Vekic. That might be a five. Just a dangerous spot for that to happen, too. We'll see. Referees are going to converge and chat about it. This awkward head first spill. Oof, that is dangerous. Just a two minute cross check, though. I'm a bit surprised. Well, at that point, not a whole lot for this Maverick team to lose. And so just a sloppy, careless play. Maybe taking out some of that frustration for the way that these last two games of this series have gone, especially after they held so tightly through much of this game. Well, Minnesota on the power play here to finish off this game. Do they try to score or they just play keep away? Murphy low out front. Here's Hemp pushing it behind. So I guess that answers the question. One minute to go. Lightning. Bottom of the circle for him. Back to the top. Lightning again. Mavericks are playing a pretty tight diamond. Now Murphy winds up. Slap shot. Boy, she caught all that one, but misses the top right corner. Now Murphy again will settle it down. Holds the puck here. Over for Lightning. Back for Murphy. Murphy sets up Boobing. One timer going for the Hattie. Boobing had two last night, has two today. This one's blocked. However, Mavericks clear all the way down, just 20 seconds left. And so the Gophers are going to head to the uh, final faceoff here. They'll face Wisconsin late game on Saturday afternoon at 4.30. But I mean, tip of the hat, here comes Weathington in. Tip of the hat to the Mavericks. What a series they gave Minnesota here in games one and three. Late whistle here. Game one, the Mavericks down two. Came back to take the lead. Minnesota fought back a couple of times to tie. And but uh, the Mavs took game one and they've matched up with Minnesota tough. This was a tough game. This was maybe a two nothing game here, Sam. Of course, the empty netter made it three nothing. But this Maverick team is going to be pretty good next year. And of course, we were both out there when the Gophers got swept in Madison. That is going to be a tough matchup here, at least on home ice, which they split that earlier series against Madison this year. Gophers just out skating the Mavericks today is a big part of it, especially if we're thinking Harrington.